What's up guys, TC here and welcome back to another episode of Starbound Tips and today I have got custom augments and custom collars and these things are really awesome. Uh, I've been working on getting these uh, working for a while now and I, I was just making a really simple mistake uh, on their parameters and so I'm really happy to bring them out now. Um, pretty much the way it works, you can put any status effect in the game on any collar or any augment and so there's tons of possibilities with this so I've made uh, three little example collars and three little example uh, augments real quick. So. Uh, for today's sampling, we're going to be showing off a new little monster I've got in the works here. This is a working, um, it's a, a critter, but it can attack and do damage and stuff. So I'm working on making these guys viable, but uh, not this really episode isn't really about him. So we're going to show off these collars real quick. First up here, we've got the Nova Collar, which if we put on him here, you're going to see he's going to turn that. He has a little, a normal layer of red around him, but you see how he kind of lost that red glow and has a smaller one now? So now if we spawn in a, um, a monster for him to fight, he has to take damage, unfortunately, for this to work. But there you go. So you see the fire spits out of him whenever he takes damage. So, uh, yeah, that's what the Nova effect is. You don't see it too much. Only a few foods in the game do it. But, uh, yeah, so you can put the Nova effect on any monster in the game. So real quick, we're going to put this collar back in here. Um, we need to heal him up, too. Let's see. Come here, buddy. Heal up. Uh, next thing I've got is an electrical aura collar. So this pretty much, um, the, there's a hammer in the game, or well, there's there's a hammer effect that generates these auras. And so we're going to put this on him, and you'll see, there it is. So he's got the electrical aura. It's a big-ass sphere that goes around him and damages anything that gets near him. Um, so this one, he actually probably shouldn't even take any touch damage, because I don't think anything can even get close to him. So real quick, we're going to spawn in a monster for him to fight. Uh, no, I was wrong about that. So this is just a visual effect, but I know he also has the electrified status, as you can see here. So if he gets close to something, um, he'll actually shock it. But I'm not sure why it's not working there. But anyways, you can add this electrical effect. It's kind of a cool visual. Um, I thought it was, uh, it seems to be working weird here. I don't know. So that one might be a dud, but there you go. At least he can do damage. And uh, is he shocking them? Yeah, he's. I think he's electrifying them, but I don't know. It's actually kind of weird, but it's kind of cool that you can add this uh, interesting little status effect to it. Up next, we have got the shockingly bright collar. So this is one where I put two status effects on there. So you'll see he's actually lightly glowing and he's electrified. So let's um, let's time warp. So I'm not sure if you can tell how, um, but he's glowing right now. So let's get over here so he'll get close to us. You'll kind of see. Right, let's go to the cave. Come on. Come on, buddy. And we can see he has the glowing effect and the little blue electrified. So there you go. Now you can see he's um, very clearly glowing. And he's also got the electrified status. So um, just kind of cool. You can stack any amount of um, abilities or augments and stuff and status effects on any collar. So uh, I'm going to either pop that up on screen at some point or I'm just going to put it in the description below so you guys can play around with it. Uh, so that we're done with this guy for today. And let's check out some of the augments for the armor now. So I've made three. The first one is the levitation augment, which you guys know I, I love to play around with this thing. Pretty much just makes you levitate off the ground. And uh, yeah, it never really runs out. And... Of course, these things here are very similar to the collars in that you can add multiple effects to it. So this one here is the Power Shield Augment. So this one's really interesting status effect. It's one I don't play with much. It's called the uh, Static Shield Armor, or Static Shield Effect. And pretty much it adds like a, kind of like a rechargeable energy shield to your player. But the problem is you can't really see it. Um, you can't see like how low it is. So this one here it has the cool blue on it. And it's also got a speed boost, as you can see up here. Um, but yes, this like you you don't take any damage on this as long as you have it on for a while, um, just because it absorbs the damage for you. So the next one here, where did that go? Let's put that back there. And the last one here is the power jump augment. So I've combined all of the jump augments in the game, and I've added no fall damage. So now the player jumps super high, and he can ju jump really high up, and he takes no fall damage. So that's really beneficial. I know fall damage is a big pain in the ass in this game. And uh, there's not, it's just, it's really easy to get killed by it. So I love having uh, some kind of augment that you can have, even if it's kind of cheaty, where you just don't take fall damage because it's so easy to die from it. Uh, but anyways, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.